So in this video I just want to analyse a WSL game between uh, Arsenal and Manchester United and just look at the uh, position in and out of possession of the three central midfielders of Gurnan, uh, Ladd and Toon. Uh, United play in a 4-3-3 formation with the typical six defensive midfielder, eight box-to-box -box midfielder and 10 attacking midfielder behind the striker. So here we see United in possession of the ball, playing out from the back, with the two centre halves uh, centrally, and then the full backs both wide in an arced position, uh, so they're not flat. And stereotypically, the number six, Lad, or the defensive midfielder, when in possession, is going to be. Uh, basically giving options uh, and support in passes for the centre-halves and for the full-backs. The number six as a defensive midfielder is operating much more conservatively than the others, offering support and working side-to-side -side rather than so much backwards and forwards. The number six's main priority, number one priority, is to protect the defence and is constantly thinking about offering support but also about being in a position to be able to protect the defence if there is a transition. Once the ball has moved into midfield you'll rarely see the defensive midfielder operating ahead of the ball and in front of the ball. Maybe Turner with the armband alongside Millie Turner. Here we can see the typical relationship between the 6, 8 and 10. The 6 being the defensive midfielder, the 10 being the midfielder operating behind the striker and the number 8 who tends to be more box to box, getting forward, making forward runs uh, to support the attacking phase of play but helping uh, in the defensive part of the game when they're not in possession. And Leia Galton. At left back, we're hoping he's having switched sides with Kirsty Hansen in the side today. Here we can see the number 10 operating behind the uh, in the pocket of space behind the strikers uh, and how the number 8 is making forward runs, really trying to uh, get there and support the attack. And the number of 6, uh, Lad has sat back more to offer that protection and a deeper uh, level of support. This clip just shows uh, United playing out from the back. Firstly, you can see just how wide and far up the fullbacks are. Galton on the left-hand side is really high. Grunen's just dropped from midfield to offer support. Uh, and she'll turn and make a run. And you can see that triangle again with uh, Ella Toon uh, operating up front. So as this stops, you can see that Ladd has dropped to give a nice sideways supporting pass. Uh, to Heath on the, on the left. Uh, Toon is making herself uh, available and you can see she's checked her shoulder and she's also using her arm to point to show where she wants the ball. She's operating in that space just in front of the defence. Uh, you see that the Arsenal midfielders have actually got drawn to the ball and there's a big space there. It's also worth noting how far the fullback has now got. Almost playing like a winger. Here you can see uh, Grunen typifying the number eight role. She's going to make a, a run past Elatoon and offer herself, you know, with depth um, and penetrate the uh, Arsenal defence. And this typifies the, the number eight. They're going to arrive late in the box. They've got to get forwards and backwards. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a really physical role. So let's have a little look at uh, Manchester United out of possession. As you see Arsenal building play from the back. So as it stops here, you can see the position of the three midfielders. Uh, the number six, uh, Lad, and number eight, Grunen. Uh, Grunen's dropped and is sitting side by side to offer extra protection in front of the defence. And the number 10's role here is to help and press uh, the defensive line. You can see that the... Um, 
wingers of United have actually tucked in as well to make them more narrow and compact. And also it's interesting to compare now the shape of the back line out of possession as they're no longer wide and spread and in an arc. They're now nice and compact uh, and together. And obviously uh, the defensive midfielder's role in this position now is to try and snuff out any possession. You see Ladd does really well. Not only wins the ball and then uses the body to protect it. They get the free kick and they can go on the counter-attack. So obviously there are situations whereby um, players in midfield have to have a bit of awareness of other players and uh, you know rotate. But in this clip you can see there's a United throw in and Kristen Press, who's the United striker, picks the ball up and ends up driving back into her own midfield. You can see the midfield three, uh, the eight, ten and six, are there in slightly different positions. But Ladd uh, actually finds herself in a more advanced position. But because she can see that Press is in her position, she just holds her existing position. But as soon as Ladd sees Press vacate that position, she's really quick to check her shoulder and drop in to offer that support. But more than that, she's aware of Toon's position, which is better than hers. And she actually moves and opens and signals for that pass uh, from the centre half. So it's brilliant play. It's a striker important to get your first goal. And here we are back in that situation of uh, Grunen and Ladd, the eight and number six side by side in midfield with Toon, the number 10, playing in the more advanced position. And this is a really good sign of a balanced midfield whereby they're all aware of each other's position and they're you know, not over committing, um, but providing support for each other. And they're back on the counter attack. And you see in this situation, there's Toon just on the outside of the box, supporting the front three uh, of United. And just guess who comes busting their gut to come in now? It's Grunen, the number eight, running into the box, but the, the cross doesn't make it. So I think this clip uh, really shows the difference between the three midfield roles of the number 10, Toon, supporting the attack, Grunen, the number eight, having to work really hard to support the attack, but also work back, and the number six sitting. Now let's look at uh, United's midfield in transition. United have a uh, throw in in an advanced position. You can see the midfield, Grunen's posing a threat, uh, and Toon's come to the ball. They work the ball really well to get into an attacking situation. Um, they're very committed. Unfortunately, the attack gets broken up by the centre half and now they're in trouble. You can see Toon has made a forward run and is completely out of the game now. Now it's about Ladd. First thing she does is she shows the player up the middle and then she works incredibly hard to stay with a player and push her wide. You also see Grunen's work rate to just get back, to get back ball side. And then they recovered the situation. You can see now you've got Grunen and Ladd behind the ball. Um, the rest of the team are getting back and the position is no longer dangerous. And it's a key thing for those two midfielders that need to have that desire to want to get back into position if you're going to be a top midfielder, particularly on transition.